So when I can find the embellishments on the tops or on the, you know, clothing items in particular that will complement them, it's a win for me. I also like this one because it has the slits. This falls right about at my waist and where my hips go. I'm not really heavy, so this gives the illusion that I'm a little curvier than I am, which I'm a fan of. I'm a girl's girl. Everything that sparkles is good in my book. I don't like flowers on stuff, so this is a good one. I like the little bit of sparkle that that gives. Then we also have this blazer. I think the blazer is probably my favorite one only because it actually fits nicely. Like it's a really fitted blazer. A lot of times blazers will say they're fitted and then not really be fitted. This, it's actually fitted. For the small girls out there. I'm really small. So everybody thinks, oh, being small is so easy. It has its purse, but then also sometimes it's hard to find things that fit you the way they're intended to fit. And also the way you want them to fit. This might be one of my favorite purchases from this little semi trip because I didn't go anywhere. I have my pajamas. Basic black sweater, but of course, I like the holy sheep. What else? Oh, and the last uh, clothing item is this jumper, which is showing it here on camera. It's really not going to do it justice. Um, so you got the overalls, yeah, but it's act actually a maxi dress, so it's pretty long dress and I like it because of course it's got this little slit here so I'm a fan of that so that's it for the clothes and I also got shoes the beautiful thing about being a girl is that you can get really cheap stuff and not look really cheap it's a fine line don't get me wrong we all know we've seen those girls that had on the $10 pair of shoes and they look like they were $10 there's an art to it guys there's an art so anyway, this first pair I have, I don't remember what it's called, but um, actually somebody spent uh, $32.80 on them. Not I. I, I. I can't see ever spending $32.80 on those in particular. I've blown more on shoes, but I wouldn't spend $35 on those. These. I've been trying to get into the whole wedge sneaker thing, so apparently now I'm down with the get down. Somebody actually paid $39.80 for these. I never spent $40. Um, they don't really, like close up, they don't really look like $40 worth of shoe, if you ask me. Um, they're not shoddily made, but at the same time, it's an $8 shoe. Because it's $8, I'm going to buy it. Like, they're super cute. They meet that function. That is their purpose. That is their function, to be super cute. Not to be, you know, well-crafted. Then these, I gotta say, are my personal favorite from this little haul. Little multi-purpose um sneaker you can kind of do this for a lot of different things somebody paid 39.80 these i might see spending 40 dollars on these are much better crafted where they don't look as cheap these are put together really nicely and it came with one of those little tags that said with um with where they'll give like a little vintage look or whatever i don't know i could have appreciated a real soul but again ladies they're on sale it's all about the look. And you're not supposed to wear them every day. That's where a lot of you chicks go wrong. You buy something cute, and just because it goes with everything, you start to wear it with everything, and you wear it down, and then it starts to look like what you paid for it. You gotta rotate them. What else? These I'm not too sure on, but um, I've been looking at them for a while. Again, somebody spent $39.80. I would never spend $39.80 on these i mean if you shop right you can get a real ass pair of leather shoes for 40 50 dollars so why would you spend 40 dollars on plastic I, I don't understand it but again on sale it's an amazing buy you gotta shop wisely that's my motto you do what you want to do my dad told me better so these are really cute i feel like 
if I do it the right way, I can kind of get away with wearing them at work. There's got to be a way that I can make these business casual. I'll figure it out. But um, yeah, something about these I really liked. And uh, I got to say that I was really excited about my house slippers. I wanted to get these because I didn't want to spend, I wanted a pair of slippers for a while. Like when I move into a new place, this is only like the second apartment I've had, but it's been like um, a little tradition I have where new place, new slippers. So I finally got the slippers. I'm excited about that. I didn't even like five dollars, so can't go wrong on a five dollar pair of slippers. So guys, um, that is my haul. Hope you enjoyed. Kept this short and simple. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back with something new next time. I'm trying to do more videos. Still know how I feel about this vlogging thing. I'm working on it. So anything particularly you want to see, drop a comment, a request, email me, tweet me, Instagram me, whatever you kids do these days. Um, that's it. Oh, shout out to um, Global Warming Tees. Rebel with the Coas, one of my favorite hoodies. I've mentioned them before. Shout out to Charmaine and Lauren. Um, I put the link in the description box where you can get your Rebel with the Coas hoodie. Be awesome. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it.